Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you lots of photos of an important sign, which is pathognomonic for measles, which is called coplic sign. And in this particular photo that you can see on screen at the moment, that's the characteristic rash of measles. So measles is a highly contagious infectious disease caused by the measles virus. And I've included a link to more information about measles in the description box below, because the main focus of this short video is on the coplic spot themselves. So coplic spots, also known as coplic sign, is a prodromic viral anthem of measles which manifests two to three days before the measles rash itself. So what do I mean by a prodromic anthem? Well prodrome is an early sign or symptom that often indicates the onset of a disease before more diagnostically specific signs and symptoms develop and it's derived from the Greek word prodromos which means running before. And an anthem is simply a rash of small spots on the mucous membrane. And here you can see some of these rash on the inside buccal mucosa of someone's mouth. And just to orientate you, obviously teeth here, inside of the cheek here, and there's an instrument being used to pull back the cheek to give you a better view of that. So coplic spots are characterized as a clustered white lesions on the buccal mucosa. And the textbook description of coplic spots is an ulcerated mucosal lesions marked by necrosis, neutrophilic exudate, and neovascularization. And this is another photo just to give you some pointers as to where they are. So again, inside of the mouth on the buccal mucosa, you can see these ulcers around here and these little spots again on the roof of the mouth, and again on the inside of the other cheek, the spots are present here. So just as an interesting side point and a little bit of history, um, they were first described by an American doctor, Henry Koplick, and he should also be remembered as the founder in America of free distribution of safe, so by that I mean sterilised, not pasteurised baby milk, and he also found the bacillus of whooping cough, so a pretty interesting guy and an important guy in terms of medical history. So let's take a look at some more examples of Koplick spots, so you're going to be better place to spot them. So they're also described as grains of salt on a reddish background and I think this photo is a really good example of this. You can see these small white spots on the inside of the mouth on the buccal mucosa which really do look like grains of salt on a red background and they often fade as the maculopapular rash that later develops. As well as their diagnostic significance they're important in the control of measles outbreaks. So because coplic spots appear before the person is maximally infective, it means that the person or child can isolate, which greatly aids the control of this highly infectious disease. So that brings us to the end of this short video. I hope you found it useful and you can go back and take a look at some of those photographs to give you a better example of what coplic spots look like. For more information on the prevention, diagnosis, treatment and what to do if you think you or your child might have measles, check out the description box beneath the video where I've included some really useful links. Thanks again for watching and please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you feel like you learned something new.